going on everybody? My name is Joseph Cartwright. Today I'm going to be playing some Joe and Mac Caveman Ninja. Uh, I'm doing something a little different today. I recorded the gameplay first and I'm recording the commentary second. So I don't know if it'll be better this way or not, but let's find out. Anyway, Joe and Mac Caveman Ninja <clears throat> is a platformer designed by Data East for the Nintendo, where it was adapted by Takara for the Sega Genesis. It was developed in 1991. The premise of the game is pretty simple. Uh, it's a two-player game. Obviously, I'm only playing one player. Uh, players can play as Joe, the green-haired caveman. That's who I'm playing as. And player two, you're going to be playing as Mac, the blue-haired caveman. Basically, the object of the game is to... Uh, a rival group of cavemen came in during the night into your village and like stole your women. <laughs> so basically you just have to fight through a bunch of bad guys to get your ladies back. Uh, controls are pretty simple. It's uh, left and right arrow keys are going to move you. The A key is going to jump. The S key is going to throw these little projectiles like tomahawks or whatever. And the enter button is the start menu. <laughs> So, the mechanics of the game, basically, you have two lives. You have a, if you look in the upper left-hand corner of the screen there, you're going to see a little health bar. Each time you get hit, you lose a bit of health, obviously. And then each bad guy you kill, they're going to drop, like, a cupcake or a soda or, like, an ear of corn. Like, some sort of food item. And it, it heals you a little bit. Uh, each enemy you kill using the tomahawks are going to give you 100 points per kill. Uh, if you saw there, I had the wheel, and that, that gives you 10 times as many points and 10 times as much damage as the tomahawk. So right now I'm at the first boss stage. You have to fight a giant dinosaur to get to your lady under there. So anyway, I had to look this up because I was unfamiliar with this game, so I didn't know off the top of my head what it was similar to or not. Apparently it's similar to a game called Bongo's Caper, uh, and there was also a sequel to this game as well called Joe and Mac Caveman Ninjas 2 Lost in the Tropics, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's similar to that as well. That's, so something interesting about the game is once you get to the final boss stage, after you defeat the final boss, apparently three doors open up, and the player can kind of select which door to go through, and each door gives you a different ending, which I thought was pretty interesting because that wasn't really a kind of prominent thing to include in a game back then. Most games, I think, were pretty linear and kind of straightforward. But yeah, I mean, this game is pretty fun. I mean, I really enjoy the art style. Um, I like the design. See, like, you have a little angel rising from your dead body there. I love little touches like that. Or or even the soundtrack. The soundtrack's pretty great, too. Um, the game... Or, I'm sorry, the recording software I used didn't record the soundtrack. The, the soundtrack you hear playing now is just something to add it in after the fact, because I like it so much. Um, but yeah, I like the art style, I like the design of it, I like the soundtrack. Uh, something unique. Oh, going back to the final boss stage, uh, something unique about the game is that apparently players can choose which route they go and to kind of attack the boss, which again, back in those days, games were pretty linear and they kind of told you where to go. You had to go one direction and that's it. So I think that's a pretty interesting design choice they made there. As you can see, I have not gotten past the first boss. Um, again, it, it's hard to control these these games on a laptop, especially with these tiny little arrow keys. Um, but yeah, so these are the rival cavemen right here. You see this guy's little helicopter on that from. And then there's the egg that I just broke. That's where you get 
each new projectile that will just see that I change from tomahawk to go right there. So I don't know if every egg has a different weapon or if it's all just you know kind of the wheel because I've seen two eggs in this stage so far and I've only broken one. So unfortunately, I'm so bad at the game I'll never find out. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm doing these boss stages right. If I'm, all I keep throwing projectiles at the boss until he kind of dies. And I don't know what this platform is going to keep lower to the ground. I don't know. All, all I know is I keep dying. So um, I'm running out of time here, so I'm going to cut it here. Uh, my name is Joseph Cartwright. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you next time.